Hello, hello, Mystic Glow Lady here. It has been too long since I have done any divination readings. It's been a year and a half that I have taken a hiatus in order to finish my civil rights lawsuit that's now in the Supreme Court. And I've also started going back and seeking higher education. So I've been up to a whole lot of things and I hope that you have been creating as well. My Patreon Glow Lady site is up and almost ready to run. I have my inspirational wallet size photos for download and also my healthy hippie hemp oil blends and other essential oil blends as well as tools of the trade. There's lots of different support levels, so I hope to see you on my site, Glow Lady, on Patreon. I'll put a link below. And now, on to your readings. Hello, hello, Aquarius. This is your divination reading for June 2017. And I guess you're wondering why you have been able to breathe much easier lately. And that's because you do not have any planetary influences that are pounding down on top of you. And that's a, that's a good thing. Now, when we're talking about our finances, that's another story. Because you have had Neptune and Chiron in there for a while. So Neptune, illusions, delusions, your dreams, your wishes, what are you planning to do? And you better figure them out because on the 16th, uh, your Neptune is going to be going retrograde, um, going back over. Um, watch, your, watch your finances. Chiron, that wounded healer in there, what lessons have you been taught but you have not been paying attention to regarding your finances? Do not be the big spender. You will later regret it, okay? So in your third house, your third house of communications, I hope that you like this layout and I hope that you can read my writing. I can see I will have to go back over and do it more in a typeset. But I hope that you like this way and let me know how you do like the format. So back to that third house, you know, the communications, short distance travels. We have Uranus and Uranus unusual, inspirational, and it's right there with Venus. Okay, Venus is pretty much uh, right on top of Uranus. So what are new ways of communication that oh. needs to be opened up? Okay, what have you been withholding that really needs to be communicated? Do you have different ideas for creativity and it's being stifled? because you're getting shots of inspiration okay and it's like what do you want to do and the best thing to do is to go and take a take a trip um, take a short trip into the forest take a trip somewhere into nature and if you cannot do that then at least go and find a piece of dirt that you can put your feet into Okay, get yourself grounded because even if you can't travel, uh, the mother, feeling the mother beneath you, that will satisfy that need. Now, when we're coming into the fourth house and you have Taurus home, you love a beautiful home. Venus is moving into your home on the 7th. And then it's going to end the month at 24 degrees of Taurus. So love in your home, love in what's going on in your home. You have Mercury in there at 19 degrees, the beginning of the month. And let's talking about uh, let's talking about how much we love our home, uh, communicating, traveling. Are you supposed to phone home? Uh, it, well, Mother's Day is this weekend coming up as I'm writing this, but 
it doesn't always mean that it might not be, hey, phone home to your father. It is Father's Day after all. Okay, so as Mercury moves up into the fifth house on the seventh, woohoo, let's go have some fun. We also have the sun in there, sun shining down on top of having fun, communicating, having fun. Then we also have that new moon on the 23rd. Ooh, ooh, let's go and have some good times. That fifth house, fun, creativity, sex, children. Just be careful that you do not have too much fun and forget to use a raincoat and therefore children do tend to fall out of the sky from the stork. Or at least that's the story that I have been hearing. Okay, so you know what it is, having too much fun in the fifth house, new moon, new beginning. Now we also have Mars in there at the beginning of the month at 27 degrees. So as I said, what are you creating? You have Mars in there, Mars creation, having fun. Hmm, maybe we can think about new ways to have fun. We have good angles over there to Uranus and to Venus. Does that mean that new things are coming up, that you have a new invention for new games to play? Uh, why not? Remember, we only fail when we quit trying. So, um, try. Try, try again. Because that's the only way that we succeed, when we do not give up. Now the sun will be moving into the 6th house on the 22nd. Mars is moving into the 6th house on the 5th. And Mercury is also moving into the 6th house on the 22nd. So the sun, Mercury, work, health, service, daily routine, Mars in there. Ooh, does that mean that there's like new beginnings, new beginnings in work, new ideas that we could bring to our work, or is that what the problem may be? Is the problem that you are communicating new ideas to change things at work and you're coming up with a little bit of uh, resistance? Um, Keep your, keep your inspirational ideas and, and take them to someone that you know will care about it. And if that person does not care about it, then don't give up. If you feel that this is good and this will benefit all people, then look for a, a higher, a person higher on the totem pole. Okay, so just don't give up. And then in your seventh house, you have Leo in there. And again, there are no planets that are pounding down or blessing you. It's like, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. My home is happy. My relationships are happy. And uh, everything is good. I'm not dependent upon anyone's money, anyone else's money. And that is a good thing. Now in your ninth house of higher learning, you have Jupiter in there. And Jupiter has been retrograde for quite a while. But on the 10th, it is going direct. And it will be moving. It's still only at 13 degrees at the end of the month, but we know that Jupiter is one of those slower moving planets. So it's going to be there in Libra until at least September. So kick back. Kick back, enjoy your learning. What kind of new learning has been put on hold that you really wanted to do? What kind of long distance traveling did you want to make but for some reason or another you were prevented from it? Okay, so don't, don't give up on your dreams. You know, don't give up on your dreams so, so quickly. Do not use setbacks as an excuse not to succeed. You have a lot going for you towards the end of the month. 
So don't don't give up. Um, that's the that's the best advice that I can give, and it's because I know by experience that that is um, how I make it. Never never giving up. Now your tenth house, as I have been saying, with the planetary aspects pounding on you. Um, your secret isn't always out there in plain view. You tend to keep your career hidden more so from others. Um, what is it? You tend to work in the back room. Is that where the problem is? You see a new way to make that back room more efficient. Um, you prefer to in, be in the background of um, in your career. So um, sometimes being center of stage isn't always the most exciting. Um, that's why, you know, going in that back door, you get to find out a whole lot more than going in the front door. Now, when we move to the 11th house of hopes and wishes, friends and associates, you have the full moon on the 9th in Sagittarius, okay? So, what kind of lessons with your hopes and wishes, friends and associates, have you been learning? With Saturn sitting there, Saturn has been saying, okay, have I learned people, places, and things? Um, if nothing changes, nothing changes. If a person looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, is it a duck or is it just a sheep or a wolf in sheep's clothing? Is that how you say it? <laughs> So, um, yeah, full moon, who needs to go? Who needs to go? Learn those lessons of who is good for you and who is bad for you and uh, make a decision because Saturn sitting there is just going to force the issue because if nothing changes, nothing changes. And if you have friends who are with you because of what you give them because of that second house where you think that you're going to be giving and getting back and it's upsetting you you have that Chiron that's right there squaring you so you know it's saying learn your lessons learn your lessons dealing with money and friends don't be blowing your money on friends who are not worth the value of the money exchange. If you're blowing money just to throw money away, then you cannot hold a grudge on those friends. All right. So if you're blowing it to blow it, you got to remember that's you know that's all on you. Now when you're coming up into your 12th house, secrets, institutions, jails, enemies, and you have Pluto there. Pluto, change, transformation, and it's retrograde, starting the beginning of the month at 19 degrees, and it's going back to 18 degrees. It's like, oh boy, what kind of secrets are needing to be exposed? You know, the 12th house is our skeleton closet, and, and those are secrets. What kind of secrets do you need to expose? What kind of scab do you need to get taken off so that wound can heal? Okay? Because it's it's like, who do you need to communicate? Who do you need to communicate with? Because you have Pluto and Uranus, well, while they're not really that much of a tight square, Thank goodness things do move on and the pressure does move off. They still have a little bit of a squeezing effect. All right. And then you have at the end of the month where Mercury is going to be in opposition to Pluto. All right. So your communications, your communications with your, um, with your, with your work, with your health. We're only as sick as our secrets. And what I'm feeling with with this this the end of the month and your communications 
your mental emotional communications that you have been withholding for a while are going to come to a head all right you're you're going to have to make a decision to express that okay um, Jupiter is going to be going direct on the 10th and it's going to be coming up and conjuncting Pluto and and forcing forcing an issue or forcing the issue of, of the communication you know of healing that wound all right um, we're only as sick as our secrets so find someone that you can share them with I know that there's um, a lot of people out there because we're not alone it doesn't matter what we're going through there's always someone else who is going through the same thing as you all right remember we have the uh, planetary aspects up there and they're hitting people in pretty much the same ways so Aquarius that's what I'm seeing for you in June I will also be including a tarot reading on Patreon so you can get an even more in-depth reading so I thank you for hanging around and waiting for me to come back online and I look forward to speaking with you every month have a blessed one. Love you.